even though I forget literally every episode to take pictures and fill out the compendium, I mean, presumably, presumably, we're going to be getting the opportunity to uh, buy all the stuff that we're missing. But in the off chance that we're not, I'm probably not going to do this, to be honest, because that's kind of ridiculous. That's like, that's actually harder than the Korok seeds, and I probably shouldn't be taking up valuable time to do this right now. I'd rather just spend copious amounts of money to fill out the, the compendium. But in the off chance that, you know, maybe I decide to do the legwork. Ow. That's not how spikes work. Uh, and then... Let's see. I want to go down... Do I want to kill them? Nah. Nah. Nah, I killed them in the failed recording session. This is, uh, by the way, this is where the recording session stops. Right here is where I lost, uh, I lost the recording. Ah! When does it slide? Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. It just works? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That just worked. No if ands, or buts about it. That's insane. Also... It's just that good. That's insane. Okay. Hello. Oh, look at this. I'm not going to get the reward, but it's funnier this way. Goodbye. Long live the king. Got him. Imagine if I could recall myself. Would that not be insane? Would that not be crazy? Oh, there are bees. Uh. Got him. I don't even need to worry. I have the fro I have the froggy suit. That just lets me climb. Wet glass. This game is all about climbing glass. This is gonna be easy. Oh, I it I slipped once. I think that's because I jumped though. I think this will still be a piece of cake. Oh no, okay. It has it's not perfect. While I climb, I'd like to talk about something uh, another one of the topics that I, I briefly discussed in the failed recording. Uh, speed running. So, one of the cool parts about this game is, or about Breath of the Wild, um, when it came out, was that it it lended itself towards speed running so so well, and um, it was really cool to see the early strats for really any new game that comes out. But Breath of the Wild specifically because it allows you to fight the the final boss from the get go the, with no skips required. But Obviously, you're trying to beat the game as quickly as possible, so that's not good enough. And so getting off the Great Plateau early was kind of the original holy grail of Breath of the Wild before we realized, wait a minute, we had some actually broken broken techniques that make it faster. Um, and on patch one of the game, uh, you were able to get stasis and only stasis, and then uh, you could use it on a door that was over over in those ruins and launch yourself off the Great Plateau and break your fall, and they had no z they had no void out programming. Like, you could just land, you were just in Hyrule now, and there was no problems. Uh, they had to patch that out eventually, which is probably good that they did, because it was so easy that you were actually kind of soft-locking the game, because you, you couldn't enter shrines and you couldn't get back. Uh, and that's obviously not good. But... It's kind of cool when techniques like that happen because you can, so early into a game's life, you can then compare later on and the strats that develop. Because now, I think with them beating every single shrine or uh, clearing all four shrines in this area, uh, I actually think that due to wind bombing and the, the Bakoblin, like the Bakoblin hop, where is the eye? Oh, it's literally right next to this thing. It was- Oh, it was underneath! That's funny. Come on. Come on. There we go. 
I actually think the speed run is faster because if you think about it, after you hit, you get to the bottom of the Great Plateau or outside the Great Plateau, because you don't have Wind Bomb, because you don't have Stasis, uh, and you don't have the Glider, you can't, you can't do speed run strats to get to the castle. You can't even use the, the Bakabloon Hop because you don't have the Glider. And so you had to legitimately walk to Hyrule Castle. But now, yeah, you do all the shrines, but then you get to Hyrule Castle in literally like 20 seconds as opposed to 20 minutes on foot. It, it's really cool to follow those techniques. And honestly, I implemented some speedrunning techniques in my Let's Play. Uh, one of those being the, the bow spin, where you would start a spin attack. That is the wrong weapon. Do I have a two-hander? Do I? Wait. I don't think I do. Do I really not have a two-hander at all? Wow, okay. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Uh, there was a technique where as soon as you pulled... As soon as you started a spin attack, if you press the shield button and the bow button and cancel at the same time, you would continue doing your spin attack with the bow out instead, and it moved the hitbox of uh, your, your weapon to your back, you know, where it was attached to the weapon, which is odd that they did that. Uh, I need something. I need that. And that was something, uh, maybe this is, comes from my background in Smash, but I I was always kind of puzzled by Steven plays and Chugga Conroy's takes when it came to using glitches in games. I think that they make playthroughs unique, and as long as it doesn't completely break the game, because you're still trying to cover everything for the purposes of a Let's Play, I think it's totally fine to do. Um, and I did, I mean, you can see that opinion in full, full force. Bloop, goodbye. In, uh, in my Earthbound Let's Play. Are you still alive? Can you not be? I, I need your guts. I need your, your spleen. Give me your spleen. Thank you. Uh, in my Earthbound LP, where I used a bunch of advanced tips and tricks um, from using Teleport Alpha, I think it was, to traverse the, um, what is it called? The swamp area as quickly as really I, I could possibly, because um, it ignores terrain while you do, so you don't have to walk super slow. Um, or using um, glitches to get rid of a key item in your inventory, which modern games would definitely have gotten rid of on their own. Um, but it has to sit in Ness's inventory for the entire game. Or like the ketchup truffle abuse, where I was able to get infinite, um, essentially infinite uh, psychic points by using ketchup packets and truffles. I think those, those make playthroughs unique. And eventually, normal playthroughs aren't, you know, you, you gotta do something to set yourself apart. And if it, there's a tip and trick that you use in your own private playthroughs, by all means, use it. I think it, it's interesting to do so, as long as it's not vastly overpowered. Okay, uh, I wanted to climb this. Oh, I haven't even, oh, sorry. I have not enabled this quest. Uh, I would like to see... Wait, I did that. Wait, did I not do that? No, I did that. Yeah, I did that. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Okay, but for real though, uh, yeah, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go... I, I know there's a shrine, so you guys in the comments have been telling me to pay attention more closely to, uh, shrine- or, uh, light roots in the depths, because they correspond to shrines on the surface. And so I'm going to start doing that a little bit better. At some point, I'm probably going to have to do cleanup because, I mean, look at... Let's just pick a random... Okay, that matches. Okay, there we go. There is there is a shrine right there. So bada bing, bada boom. There's there's one that we missed. And I guarantee you that there are some that I, I missed. Although it doesn't look like... It looks like I, was, I did a pretty good job, actually. Now that I'm I'm really looking at this. Oh no, there are two there are guaranteed two shrines. Two shrines that I missed. So like Yeah, that that would be good for me to go back and do. Um I don't know if I want to do it yet, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. 
It depends on how the episodes end up pacing themselves out. I mean, obviously we want to... Maybe after this recording session, because I plan on doing the Great Plateau just in this recording session and then not... Uh, and then ending it. Uh, especially now that Windows glitched and did that thing. Uh, we're trying to get to the top of this. Yeah. Since I'm going back to the gorge anyway, and I'm doing the goat quest anyway, since I've gotten good feedback on that, maybe I go back and grab a couple shrines, since I know exactly where they are. You know, I'm just going to keep walking. Got a sword, and we got a Korok. I actually don't remember what was on top of this peak in Breath of the Wild. This area almost feels different. Okay, there's there's my chasm. It's kind of odd to me. This area seems m more barren than it was in Breath of the Wild. I can shield surf on the wings, right? Nope, I cannot. That works, though. Hey, you! Hey, Stinky! Hey, you! I need to kill you. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Bet you didn't expect this, did ya? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's... That's awkward. Now I feel bad. I needed his spleen. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! That's a radius. I probably shouldn't have expected that. Uh, trying to go to the top of this thing. That's not what I want it to be. Where's the eye? Oh, this is fun. Why is this not frozen? It's a zero, a zero degree here. I did not mean to do that. Get out of the water. Okay, what's up here? One of these has the eye, not that one. Neither of them, so it's this one for sure. There it is. That's the last one. The last eye. Okay, but... We're still trying to, to explore the, the Great Plateau. And there are a couple sites... I mean, we're not going to explore all of it right... Like, right right now. Yes, this recording session, but... We're on the high ground. I don't have easy warp points here, so I should probably... Maybe not over there. We can do that later. But there is a shrine down... Down behind the waterfall, presumably. So I, I gotta get that. And who knows what Koroks are down here. Oh! I don't feel bad anymore. I got the guts. Oh, look at that guy! That's a guy! What are you doing, guy? Yeah, you're... Shoot... Shoot your PNGs at me. It's fine. And... Is he gonna drop a... Actually, I could use a shield this time. Normally, normally I don't care, but this time I care. Ah, uh, okay. Sure, sure. A 47. I'll drop the one I've, I've been using. Like, like stone. I really haven't used the like, like stones. Truth be told, I don't know what they are used for. Like, are they just elemental things? Like, I've, I've used them a couple times, but they don't add a whole lot of power. Are are they ex, um, uniquely or um, exclusively? That's the word I was thinking of. Elixir items? I'm not sure. Okay, there's another one of these bozos. Another bow? Okay, sure. I guess we can power creep my equipment a little bit. I should probably also power creep my health. And would you look at that. That hit? Okay, cool. 
One thing I've noticed in post is that arrows actually autocorrect a little bit. Um, and so a lot of the crazy shots that you see me get, I don't truly get. Discovery! A very river of the dead waterfall cave. That's the longest title we've seen so far. I can feel this cave. This cave would be so dank. Alright. There's the sh the shrine and the bubble frog. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Okay. Oh. Ow. He was so not aggroed onto me that he just would not show the ball because Tulin wasn't close enough. Okay, we get a bubble gem. We have four, which means we can get an upgrade. Okay, well, they fight to the death because the rewards aren't going to be that good. I'm going to reveal this shrine, the Tadarok Shrine, courtesy of the advice of the comments. Fire and water, Tadarok Shrine. And, okay, that's neither of those things. Excuse me. I would like to survive that water. Thank you very much. I, I'm going to take this block with me, but I don't actually need it to get across because I... That's not the button I want. I am... Never mind, I would have died. Because the game locks me out of that. I... It's a little bit better in this game, but it's still not great. Sometimes it just decides to randomly lock you out of you of shield uh, shield jumping. Okay, actually, I want this destroyed first. I get an ice block out of it. Which, if I may be so bold... <laughs> that is not how they want you to do that. I think they want you to fuse two blocks together and use them as stairs. Whoa, that's a really good shield. Goodbye, Ruby Shield. You were badly damaged anyway. Yeah, I think they wanted you to either ascend through them or uh, use them as stairs, but I found a different way. Okay, what is this for? It's a block, obviously. Oh, uh, wait. So that's electrified. Does ice conduct? Hold on. It does. That's good to know. And what is this over here? We. Why is that not burning up? Huh. I feel like I could actually cheese this shrine very easily. Uh, not not with ultra hand uh, recall, mind you, but with just ascend and my shield. I. Because, like, can I not just stack these blocks and then ascend through them all? I mean, and you, you say, no, you can't do that because you can't reach the eye. But, like, I can. I definitely... Like, can I not just do this? And then freeze the water with some... With an ice fruit? But, also, then the curiosity... Does this work? It does. I'm glad Link didn't enter a diving animation. What is happening here? What is this? What is this? Why is this? So they gave us water to put this out. But why? We don't need it. I almost died. I died. <laughs> Okay, what's more with gusto? Yeah, I don't need their reindeer games. I can just boom. Maybe they want, you know, they probably want me to have that platform so I can float. Oh, also, 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 I got a tip. Uh, this was also in the failed recording session. Oopsie. Uh, let's do this. 
I got a tip about, uh, about ascend, and it has to do with the camera angle I choose when I ascend. So we're gonna try this right now in a vacuum. If the camera is underneath something, or will be obstructed by the thing I'm ascending toward, through, or is an otherwise, otherwise blocked, I will get the green cutscene. If I do it like this, then it skips the cutscene. That's very good to know. Now, it's not so much good to know for you all because I skip, I, I edit out the loading screen every single time. So it's it's very smooth. I just, you know, enter and exit immediately. But for myself, being able to, to uh, skip that process, that, you know, eight second process in editing will add up.